Bereshit, Genesis chapter 40. And after these events, it came to be that the cupbearer and the baker of the sovereign of Mitzrayim sinned against their master, the sovereign of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh was wroth with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker. So he put them in confinement in the house of the captain of the guard in the prison, the place where Yosef was a prisoner. And the captain of the guard put Yosef in charge of them, and he served them. So they were in confinement for some time. Then the cupbearer and the baker of the sovereign of, the, of Mitzrayim, who were confined in the prison, dreamed a dream, both of them, each man's dream in one night, and each man's dream with its own interpretation. And Yosef came in to them in the morning and looked at them and saw that they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers who were with him in confinement of his master's house, saying, Why do you look so sad today? And they said to him, We each have dreamed a dream, and there is no one to interpret it. And Yosef said to them, Do not interpretations belong to Elohim? Relate them to me, please. So the chief cupbearer related his dream to Yosef, and he said to him, See, in my dream a vine was before me, and in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded. Its blossoms shot forth, and its clusters brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, so I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. And Yosef said to him, This is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Yet within three days, Pharaoh is going to lift up your head and restore you to your place. And you shall put Pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the former ruling when you were his cupbearer. But remember, but remember me when it is well with you. And please show loving commitment to me. And mention me to Pharaoh. And get me out of this house. For truly I was stolen away from the land of the Hebrews. And also I have done not that they should put me into the dungeon. And the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, and he said to Yosef, I also was in my dream and saw three white baskets were on my head, and in the uppermost basket all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, and the birds ate them out of the basket on my head. And Yosef answered and said, This is the interpretation of it. The three baskets are three days. Yet within three days Pharaoh is going to lift off your head from you and hang you on a tree, and the birds shall eat your flesh from you. And on the third day, Pharaoh's birthday, it came to be that he made a feast for all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer and of the chief baker among his servants, and he restored the chief cupbearer to his post of cupbearer again, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker as Yosef had interpreted to them, and the chief cupbearer did not remember Yosef, but forgot him.